So we take it out and what we do is we immediately, this is what it was, I took it out, I cut it in half and as soon as I cut it in half, I take my metric ruler, which is in uh, centimeters here and I measure and I get one, two, three, I get 0 0.4, 0 0.35 centimeters. So on my data table, on my data table right here where it's the large cube, cube size three by three by three, I'm going to put 0 0.35. I could put 0 0.4, but I try to be as precise as I possibly can. So that last digit's an estimation. So 0 0.35 would be perfectly fine. We're done with that. That cube is all done. It's been about a minute, so we'll go ahead and we'll take this one out. This is the two by two by two. And we're gonna cut this one in half. And you can see that's the rate of the diffusion there. And we go ahead, we take our ruler and we measure. Oh, I need to take the one by one out as well. And we measure and I get about 0.35. So I'm gonna do the same thing, and I'm gonna write 0.35 for the two by two by two. Let me put that away. Now I've got my small one. This is a little bit of a challenge. You can see there's a little bit of pink there. And I'm gonna measure here, and I get about 0.35 or 0.4. So where I have my one by one by one, which is here, I'm gonna put for depth of diffusion, 0.35. So the depth of diffusion was the same in all three cubes. And if they were all placed in the solution for eight minutes, then that means if I have a distance of 0.35 over a time of eight minutes, then the rate of diffusion is the same. And that should be a constant. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to compare different size cubes if the rate of diffusion was different in each of them. So essentially, that's what they do in the lab. Um, and from there, it's collecting the data, answering the post-lab questions. There's a little bit more arithmetic that's a little more complicated beyond the scope of this video um, that we'll talk about in class. But this should be a helpful tutorial for those who may have missed the lab or just need a follow-up recap.